In this video, I'm going to go over word problems on average speed and average velocity to better understand the concept of average speed and average velocity. So we're going to go over three examples like word problems to find out average speed and average velocity. So let's go over the examples we're going to solve today. So this is the one of them. An aeroplane is flying around a square field. We'll go over that and this one a cyclist is moving uh, on a circular track so we're going to find the average velocity there and the third one is this situation that's where a person walks in different directions and we need to find the average speed and average velocity so let's start with this one here and let's read over the problem first of all it says a person walks a distance of 30 meters towards east so north south east west so 30 meter towards east with a speed of 2 meter per second okay and then 40 meter towards north so in this direction that's where the speed is 1.5 meter per second so they said calculate the average speed and the average velocity for his journey so we're gonna start with average speed and if you remember average speed was the total distance over the total time taken so let me write it down over here so average speed so watch my previous video that's where I went over the formulas for average speed and average velocity under different situations so average speed is is equal to total distance over total time taken all right so what will be the total distance uh, in this case so total distance is the person moved 30 meter towards east and 40 meter towards north so total distance let me write it separate over here total distance traveled is equal to 30 meter plus 40 meter that gives me 70 meter now we're gonna find the time what is the total time taken so let's see there are two different intervals so we need to find the time and in both interval the speed is not uniform it's different so we need to find the time separate for both intervals so towards east and towards uh, north so let's find the time taken towards east first so I'm gonna say time taken to towards east let's say towards east I used a here so that is going to be remember speed is distance over time so time is distance over speed so distance is 30 meter and speed is 2 meter per second that gives me uh, time is 15 second so it took 15 second for this person to move in this direction for 30 meter okay let's find time taken towards north which is again distance over time sorry distance over speed so 40 over 1.5 that gives me uh, 26.66 second all right so we plug in these numbers over here total distance over total time so total distance is 70 over total time is going to be 15 plus 26 66 so that gives me 41.66 seconds so we're gonna add these two to find the total time okay so when we divide 70 by 41.66 that gives me 1.68 meter per second so that's the average speed now let's find the average velocity so remember average velocity is going to be displacement or the total displacement okay. 
displacement over time taken and you remember displacement is the diff, uh, distance from the starting to the final or the shortest distance between those two points so our starting point is here and our final point is here final position is here so the shortest distance between those two point is this line over here okay so we're going to use a pythagorean theorem to find this distance okay so our displacement in this case is going to be total displacement if i say this is a b and c so displacement is ac so ac is basically equal to square root of ab square plus bc square so that gives me square root of ab is 30 so 30 square is 900 plus 40 square is going to be 1600 so that gives me square root of 2500 which is equal to 50 meter so our displacement here is 50 meter and time taken is the same time 41.66 second which is 15 plus 26 here so that gives me when I divide 50 by 41.66 1.20 meter per second see that's the difference between speed and average speed and average velocity because displacement is not same as a distance here in this situation because direction is changing okay all right so that's the one example let's go over the other one <clears throat> so it says a cyclist moving on a circular track of radius 40 meters so i made a circular track over here so this is my radius over here so 40 meter and it's moving in this direction let's say from a to b and in 40 seconds it completes a half a revolution half a revolution means you start here you go along half half of the circle you come here and you start so it took him from a to b 40 seconds okay and they asked us to find the average velocity and again average velocity was average velocity is going to be displacement over total time or time so what is the displacement here so if we look around this curvature a to b that is a distance okay but displacement is a shortest distance between those two points the initial point initial position and the final position which is basically the diameter of this track if the radius is 40 so this half is 40 meter too so the displacement in this case is 40 plus 40 80 meter okay if they ask you to find the average speed then we're gonna find a half the circumference of the circle but they ask us to find average velocity so we're gonna look into displacement which is the shortest distance between a and b which is just this straight line which is the diameter of this circular track so displacement in this case is going to be 80 meter and time taken as they said it took him 40 seconds to complete the half the revolution so 40 second so that gives me 2 meter per second as his average velocity okay so do not get confused over finding the circumference that that will be the case when you are calculating average speed okay so in this case we are finding average velocity we're gonna look into the displacement so that was the easy one just a little confusing to look at but that's okay so let's go over the third example so in this example it says an aeroplane flies around a square field so I marked it a B C and D 
each side is 1000 kilometers so that's a big field here and its speed along AB so along AB it traveled at 40 kilometer per hour and along BC it's 500 and along CD it's 600 and along DA it's 700 so it's traveling very fast here okay so they ask us to find the average speed of the aeroplane so let's go over the formula again so average speed what was that average speed is equal to total distance over total time how much is the total distance so thousand 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 so four thousand kilometers so total distance is going to be four thousand kilometer and now we need to find the total time let's do that so total time is going to be because the speed is different in all the intervals so we need to find the time for this interval this this and this separately so let's find time along a b so time along a b interval is going to be 1000 over 400 again speed is distance over time that means time is equal to distance over speed okay so distance is 1000 and speed is 400 kilometer hour so 1000 over 400 so that gives me uh, when we solve it two and a half hour okay and then time along uh, AB along BC is going to be distance is 1000 and speed is 500 so that is just two hour and then let's go time along uh, CD is going to be 1000 over 600 which is going to be 1.66 and then we got time along DA 1000 over 700 that gives me 1.43 hours so total distance is uh, 4000 kilometer and the total time is going to be 2.5 plus 2 plus 1.66 plus 1.43 okay so it's going to be 4000 kilometer over 7.59 hours so when we solve this that gives me answer approximately equal to 527 kilometer per hour so that's the average speed of the aeroplane along this square field all right so thanks for watching the video guys and again I always recommend to practice more examples so that you don't get confused during test or exam. So practice few more examples then you guys will be good to go. And please please uh, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can um, you will not miss the chance to watch the other video you know you can watch it immediately getting by getting a notification. Thank you have a good day bye bye take care.